In the early morning hours of Tuesday, March the 3rd, a devastating stream of storms went through Middle Tennessee, striking the cities of Nashville and Cookville, leaving untold amounts of damage in its wake. Countless lives were lost, many were injured, and lives were turned upside down. These storms struck in the middle of the night, in the early morning hours, when many people were seemingly safe and asleep in their beds. Many of them had no warning because they did not hear the tornado sirens going off. It's devastating to think of the things that these individuals are going through as a result of this storm that they faced. Lives have been turned upside down. Loved ones have lost their lives. Businesses have been destroyed and people's livelihood has been put on hold. But I'm reminded of numerous passages of scripture that talk about the storms of life that we face. And while many of the storms that we face are those that are symbolic, talking of the trials and the tribulations that so often befall those who are faithful to God, but also from time to time we do face those literal storms of life such as those in Tennessee are facing at this time. So often we think of the time when Jesus was in a boat out on the Sea of Galilee and a great storm arose and the sailors that were there, they were afraid that they were going to lose their life. But Jesus was asleep. He was peaceful because of his faith, because he knew that God was going to protect them. Well, they came and they woke Jesus up and they, they asked him, do you not care? Are you not concerned that we're about to die? And Jesus said to them, O ye of little faith. And he spoke three words to the storm, peace, be still. And a complete calm was restored back to that setting. Their lives that they thought were about to come to an end were restored back to peace and safety because they turned to the Lord for help. I'm also reminded of a passage of scripture from the book of Psalms in Psalm 107. In this passage, we find the psalmist presenting this same type of illustration. And it says, They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth, lifteth up the waves thereof. Friends, what this is indicating is that the forces of nature that we see taking place on this earth are those that have been set in motion by God. God is the one that has determined how this world is going to function in its physical nature. It says that they mount up to the heavens, they go down again into the depths, talking about the rising and the falling of the waves when these storms would strike the seas that they were sailing upon, and their soul is melted because of trouble. They feel that there is nowhere to turn. They feel that their lives are going to be lost and that they are helpless in this situation. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. But notice this. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. And then notice the reaction of the sailors. Then are they glad, because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of his people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. Friends, what this psalm is teaching us is that even when we face these storms of life, be it literal storms or be it the symbolic storms of trial and temptation that we face, if we turn to the Lord and we cry out to him in our times of distress, then God will hear our prayers 
and he will answer those prayers in the way that is most fitting to the situation that we are facing. Our prayers continue to be with those in Tennessee as they work to rebuild their lives, and we pray that you will remember them in your prayers as well. But always let us remember that God can restore that peace, can restore that security, even to the most broken life. Thank you for joining us for our program today. Have a blessed day and a wonderful weekend ahead.